Hi, my name is Srikant Narani and I'm with CA Technologies. I'm going to be showing a quick demo of APM and some of its features and capability. And as part of that, I'll be walking you through a use case where customer is monitoring the business critical app called TextChange, consisting of multiple JVMs, Node.js, and other application components deployed across various EC2 instances on AWS and on-prem. And as part of that, we'll show how easy it is with CA APM to monitor not only your cloud environment, but also application deployed on the cloud. Let's switch over to our demo environment. And once again, we will harness the power of perspective to organize the data in a manner that is meaningful to the user. For this demo, we will be using location-based perspective that allows Pete, our level one operations guy, to set a view based on where the application is deployed. As you can see, our application is spread across AWS and on-prem. And on AWS, we have one instance. Also worth noting is that we are looking at the dashboard view. This view is extremely useful to Pete, our level one persona, or say somebody who wants to get a quick understanding of how the application components are performing across various locations without the complexity of the map view. Now, due to the recent marketing campaign, the customer's Tix Exchange website is experiencing an increased amount of traffic and load. And as part of the Elastic scaling workflow, a new instance gets deployed. The application experiences errors and exception due to the deployment issue. And we will demonstrate that with CA APM, it is extremely easy to isolate and focus on the problem and thereby reducing the mean time to resolution. Okay, with that, let's trigger our auto scaling script that should burst a new EC2 instance and should attempt to deploy an identical copy of the application. As mentioned previously, it will be a botched deployment with certain application components not getting deployed, resulting in application experiencing exceptions and errors. Let's give it a few moments for our new instance to show up on the dashboard. And there you go. The new instance has just shown up and we can already see that it's experiencing errors. With this simple dashboard view, Pete knows that certain business transactions like order confirmation and order confirmation via iOS are experiencing issues along with EC2 instance on AWS. He also knows that on-prem and one of the EC2 instance, the older EC2 instance, seems to be working just fine. Pete, who probably is not an expert and wants to quickly triage this problem to level two, can then select a tile to get all the information about the offending components on the attribute detail screen. This opens up the attribute detail screen and Pete knows immediately looking at some of the key metrics that the application error on this particular EC2 instance seems to be extremely high. He also knows that this particular EC2 instance host name is VM3 and it's part of AWS US East region. The launch reason for this particular AWS is elastic scaling and there is a support wiki for additional information. He can then click on the email link that's provided as part of the attribute detail screen and send the information to his level two. The email is pre-populated with an in-context link that can be sent to the level two support. Just based on this information, Pete has a very good idea that the problem is probably only happening on the new EC2 instance. Now let's say Ryan, our production support specialist, gets the email from Pete and clicks on the link. He's presented with the same view. Once again, looking at the simple dashboard view, Ryan knows that only certain business transactions are impacted. He also knows that only certain EC2 instance are impacted and on-prem seems to be working just fine. Ryan wants to understand how this problem started. So Ryan clicks on the timeline view to go to the history. He drags the slider back. He can see from the timeline view that it's because of the topological change event, we started seeing all the alerts. He further drags the slider before the event to make sure that this is when this problem started. He drags the slider back just to reconfirm. And as you can see that 
when the slider was turned back, the new EC2 instance got deployed and we started seeing all the errors. Ryan is pretty certain that it's because of the new EC2 instance and the application component deployed on the new EC2 instance that application is experiencing all these issues. Ryan wants to understand the root cause of the application issue. So he leverages the drill down capability of the dashboard. So he clicks on one of the business transactions that's experiencing the problem and that will take him to the map view with the filter set for that particular business transaction. As you can see, once we are on the map view, the problem seems to be contained to AWS location. Once we open it up, we can see that it's only happening on one AC2 instance, whereas the other EC2 instance in the on-prem seems to be working just fine. Ryan opens up that particular EC2 instance to see what the problem is. He clicks on the rightmost component to get further details of that component. Ryan notices the new EC2 instance. It's a web service component deployed on AWS US East. To further troubleshoot and get to the root cause, Ryan clicks on the metric to get to the expert view or the web view. He can see that the number, there are a number of transaction traces with errors being collected for that particular component. He selects a particular transaction trace and goes down and he can see that this was a web service call being made on port 3000. He selects the particular component and goes to the component details screen for more information. He can see a backend call or a web service call was made on port 3000 and that particular web service call is up to node component with all the parameters. And that particular call came back with connection refuse. So it seems like a call to a node component did not succeed. A call to the node component is refusing connection on port 3000. Ryan goes back to his team center view. He knows these are identical deployment. So he opens up the second instance just to confirm. And yeah, the instance that's working fine, he can see that additional node component being deployed which is missing from the newer instance. Ryan immediately knows that the application deployment did not go well. With this demo, we've demonstrated what CA APM and some of its marquee features like perspective that allows data to be organized in a manner that's relevant to the user and the drill down dashboard capability that allows user to go from a simple dashboard view to a detailed map view in context and get to the root cause quickly. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.